My name is Pierce Umloff. I'm the president and CEO of Jeep Jamboree USA. And today we're in the Rubicon Springs um, on the Rubicon Trail. We're halfway through the Rubicon Trail at a private base camp. It's privately owned a piece of land on the Rubicon Trail known as Rubicon Springs. And we have 420 acres here. And today we're sharing it with uh, about 320 participants that have uh, taken their time to drive in with us today. It's been a long day, seven and a half miles. We still have, uh, after almost uh, 10 hours on the trail, uh, people are still out there. We're still getting them into camp. So it's a, a long, arduous day. The Jeep Jamboree program started in 1953 with the first ever organized Jeep trip on the Rubicon Trail. Today, that's flourished into 35 Jamborees nationwide. But this is where it all started. This is where Jeeping started as a sport. So uh, back then, it was Willys uh, that used to come over this. But before then, it was Studebakers and even horse-drawn carriages that would come in here. Uh, the Rubicon Trail is an unmaintained county road so it's been unmaintained for years and it kind of deteriorated over time with the weather conditions in the sierra so harsh winters long springs runoff have turned this trail into kind of an off-road destination for uh for for jeep owners and off-roaders from around the world our relationship the jeep jamboree program with the, the with jeep corporation and fca is very unique we assist jeep with marketing programs like the jeep jamboree program it's an owner loyalty program we were in here last Last week with the Jeep truck, uh, uh, with the prototypes running them through the trail so they could earn their tra their badge of honor rating, uh, their trail rated badge. Uh, we work with the PR departments in finding unique locations worldwide to assist them in launching the brands in very unique uh, locations around the United States or the world. So, uh, you know, we kind of connect peer to peer level with with individuals, um, with the consumer, and um, and that's where the, the relationship with the Jeep Jamboree program and Jeep Corporation come together. Jeep Jamboree USA, you don't need to be a member or a club member to be a part of it. It's a fee-based program. The only requirement is that you own a Jeep 4x4. So if you have a Jeep 4x4 and you have the thrill of adventure and wanting to seek something a little bit more challenging than your, your everyday mall crawler, uh, you want to come on a Jamboree. We have around the country of Jamborees for all different skill levels. So if you have a Grand Cherokee and you want to come out to one that is a, a less difficulty rating. Now the Rubicon on a scale of one to 10 is a true 10. So this is where the vehicles, uh, Jeep vehicles earn their, their badge of honor and their true name. Rubicon Wrangler was named after this trail. Uh, it was designed with lockers, uh, locking differentials, front and rear, skid plates and rock rails and more aggressive tread tires for this exact type of environment. So the Rubicon Trail is a the most challenging trail in the world and the reality is you use a lot of the components of your vehicle like skid plates and rock rails uh, along the trail. So you know today uh, you'll hear vehicles hitting rocks or sliding on rocks, grinding on rocks. Those pieces of those devices like skid plates and rock rails are designed to, to hit those rocks, make contact with those rocks and glide off of them so you're not hitting other sensitive components of your vehicles like transfer cases and transmissions. Uh, those skid plates are there to protect those for you on the trail line like the Rubicon Trail. We have a huge support staff out here. 83 people are supporting this jamboree uh, from a whole cook team to a dedicated trail team. So today we ran up against a number of challenges. We had a vehicle that laid on its side with uh, a number of people in it. We righted the vehicle back up, had our medical team check on everybody, make sure they're all right. Uh, we also had a vehicle that lost two tires on the trail, which is a challenge because you only carry one spare. So sometimes you have to borrow from the other Jeepers around you. And that's the great thing about the Jeep community is they're willing to share and get everybody through. It's a sense of camaraderie and kinship about off-roading in this destination, this remote destination that keeps you uh, coming back year after year. There is no other automotive manufacturer that has this type of loyalty with their fan base. Jeep owners, after they go to the Jamboree, become Jeep owners for life. Uh, this experience changes them truly. You know, you hear about the Jeep wave that happens with people. Um, there's a friendship that happens amongst them. And these experiences, when they get to see the true capability of their Jeep 4x4 and they get to get to destinations that they wouldn't be able to go to without their Jeep 4x4, there's an emotional bond that happens um, with the Jeep owners and they bond with their Jeep vehicle but they bond with other Jeep owners 
and it becomes a friendship for a lifetime. We see, and what we love about it is, this is a blended community. So you have uh, federal court judges out here, you have surgeons, and they're mixing with everybody who's a mechanic uh, to a, a, a checker at a grocery store, but they have one common interest, and the common interest is that they own a Jeep, uh, Jeep 4x4. And that common interest bonds people who typically wouldn't run in the same social circles, but out here, they're all one and the same. We have almost a hundred children here with their families. Some families have five kids here. And it's that type of, of kind of involvement, getting their kids out off the grid, putting their cell phones down for the weekend. Out here on the Rubicon Trail, there are there is no cell coverage, there is no internet. Um, so you have to really you know get the board games back out. Um, that we see kids out here playing football, playing catch, kids that didn't know each other before they came in here, they're running around like friends. This is the experience that is kind of very wholesome that uh, I think the Jeep community loves. So for more information on the Jeep Jamboree program and the nationwide events that we run, you can go to jeepjamboreeusa.com and, and look at all of our, our trips online. They run from March through October every year and all around the United States from coast to coast. Well, now that you've seen what the experience is about, come join us next time on a Jeep Jamboree.